Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make watermelon air. This is sort of a light foam that has the flavor of watermelon and it's really cool to eat or to use to complement other dishes. So this is a molecular gastronomy recipe, so it's going to need one unusual ingredient, which is one packet of soy lecithin. I'll have links in the description of where you can order some packets of this. Now the normal ingredients you're going to need is two-thirds cup water, two-thirds a cup of watermelon juice, you can really use like lemon juice or lime juice or orange juice, anything like that. But I chose watermelon juice because I had some right, right in my fridge. You're also going to need a big shallow dish. This is good because there's a large surface area to create the foam. You're going to need a little bowl to collect the foam after you make it. And you're going to need one of these little blender things that looks like this. Okay, so. You're going to start off by putting the water into the dish, so go ahead and pour that in. And then you're going to put in the watermelon juice. So those are just going to kind of mix up. You're going to take this packet of soy lecithin. This is sort of a light yellow color, so don't worry, it hasn't gone bad if it's not white. Okay, so once that is all in, I'm just going to sort of make sure it's all dissolved. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my blender and sort of start blending this, and you'll start to see a foam appearing towards the top of the surface, and I'll show you what to do with that after. So here we go. So you see a light foam starting to appear. You want to keep going until there really is like a deep thick foam on the surface of this. Okay, so you can see pretty much the entire surface is covered in foam. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start spooning off some of the foam and putting it into this bowl that I had you guys get in the beginning. So now you're starting to see the surface of the juice again, so I'm going to come back in with this blender some more. And I'm trying to sort of cover up where the blades are because it's spraying everywhere, so that'll kind of prevent it from getting everywhere. Now once again, I'm going to go ahead and spoon this all off the surface. So basically you can keep your watermelon air like this if you like, which is sort of starting to have the juice at the bottom again, you can see there. So you can have it completed at this step, so it's a really light foamy, tastes like watermelon. The other option you can do is you can go ahead and put this in the freezer and it'll be sort of a more composed air. You can kind of like cut it into shapes and put it as decoration. So I'll show you guys back in an hour what it looks like after it's been frozen. Hi guys, so it's been an hour and I just took this out of the freezer. So it sort of still looks the same. You can still see the juice frozen on the bottom, but it's fine. We won't go to that. So when you try to spoon it up, you'll see that it scrapes up like, yeah, pretty much like in a foam kind of thing. It tastes really good. It almost dissolves like rapidly in your mouth. The thing is, this might kind of look like a sorbet kind of thing, but when you spoon it up, it really, it doesn't feel or act like a sorbet. It's more like an airy, foamy, frozen deliciousness. So this is really cool. You guys can all try it out. It's actually a really awesome texture. So if you like this video and you want to see more molecular gastronomy, write a comment and subscribe. Bye, guys.